it's arrived the brand new Arsenal shirt 2016-17 it's finally here the worst kept secret out there I know that half of you know what it looks like already but what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look at just how good this shirt is so here it is the club the fans the arsenal that's the slogan of it lovely slogans all that we love all that but what is the shirt actually like are we gonna like this shirt and you know what first glance i really like it i like this stripe that's going down the middle of it um apparently the reason for this stripe is to make the shirt look more dynamic and you know what, I suppose it does make it look more dynamic. Makes it look a bit more stylish, you know, obviously it's a traditional Arsenal shirt, red with white sleeves. So, you know, as I've said in these videos before, there's not a lot that you can do to a home shirt because people want the traditional colours. But I think that this little sort of subtle stripe down the middle looks really nice. And quite a few people that I've spoken to um, about the shirt because as I said a lot of people have seen the shirt already they're all for it I've not seen hardly any negativity at all about this stripe down the middle of the shirt everybody's like oh, I kind of like that it kind of looks stylish so that is a big plus I like that secondly another change that Puma have done this year is the the neck now I kind of like the neck last year I like that sort of button style but you know what I like this neck as well. I think that the neckline that they've designed here is really nice. It's really firm as well. You know, sometimes you get some shirts and they put like a neckline on it. It's really flimsy and it just starts to, after a while, stretch out and be horrible. But I like the way they've done this. Uh, it's got a little sort of, sort of flips over a bit there, but it's that sort of traditional neckline they do say that the shirt is sort of based off of that George Graham era and I think they could be sort of talking about that little sort of way there where it sort of intertwines there uh, on a couple of the shirts in that George Graham era it used to have that now here's another big change and I think Puma have listened to the public on this one and it's the badge now, it's been a big bone of contention on some of the older shirts since Puma have been doing it. has been the fact that the badge has not been an embroidered badge. It's been this sort of transfer type badge and a lot of fans don't like it. They've been like, I don't like that transfer badge. I preferred when we used to have the embroidered badge on it. Puma have listened, so well done Puma. And this year, it's an embroidered badge and it's much better, much better, especially when you've got an eye in it and stuff like that. You know, you, there's no way you're going to make an error and, you know, ruin the shirt with this. It's an embroidered badge, so you can iron over it. And it looks better. It stands out better. It doesn't fold over. It just stands firm. And I really, really like that. So, well done to Puma for the badge. That makes it a hell of a lot better. Their, their uh, logo's embroidered. And on previous shirts, they've embroidered their logo, but they didn't embroider the badge. And as I said, that didn't go down well with fans. So, that's gone down well. The sleeves now this part here um is sort of accentuated where it sort of you know comes out away from the rest of the sleeve again that's a, a nice little style it's kind of a, a sort of classic style the shirt has got blue on it which is a new thing a uh, little bit of blue just a one bit of blue there you know so that's fine and then these sort of vented parts are very similar to last year's shirt where it sort of goes down the sides, etc. Front of the shirt, very impressive. I like it. I think that this shirt looks very stylish. Um, a lot of fans are really liking this shirt. As I said, the feedback that I've had, um, because a lot of fans have seen it, has been very, very positive. So front of the shirt, brilliant. So here we have the back of the Puma shirt. Now, Again, you've got the blue there on the sleeve, blue around the neck as well. All right, so that's a new thing. But again, I'm gonna give Puma a lot of brownie points for the back of the shirt. Even though you're looking at it and you think, ah, it's just red, isn't it? But that's what I like about it. Last year, they had the, the bottom of the shirt, they had this big area of white that just went across the bottom there, and I didn't really like it. At first, when I first saw it, 
I didn't really mind it, it didn't look bad. But when I started wearing it, and when I started seeing people wearing it, that sort of white thing across the back, I don't know, it just looked a bit odd to me. I was like, it's a nice shirt, but why that big white thing across the back? You know what I mean? This year, they've just gone full red all the way down, and I, I definitely prefer that. Uh, little bits of tapered white at the bottom, which is nice, that's really stylish. Um, but they've got rid of that big white sort of area at the bottom of the shirt, which I didn't think looked that great last year. So that bit is gone. They've also got rid of the sort of triangle thing that they had here at the top of the shirt, which I didn't really understand what that triangle thing meant. I do understand what this means. This is the Gothic A for Arsenal. We all know it from that um, era. They've gone with that on the back of the shirt and I really like that. I like that Gothic A. And then apart from that, more or less it's the same as the front, isn't it? It's just traditional red all the way back with the white sleeves, uh, white going across the shoulders there. And I like it. I like the shirt. I think that um, Puma have done a really good job. I think that this is an upgrade on last year's shirt. And last year's shirt, to be fair, I thought was a decent shirt. But this for me is definitely an upgrade. Uh, as I said, just looking at it, pluses on it, the stripe down the middle, which I like, the badge, which I'm really happy with, the blue neck, you know, the blue around it, I don't mind that. I like the neckline. And as I said, on the back, that gothic A, and as I said, the red going all the way down the back. For me, they've done a really good job on this shirt. I can see this really flying, and uh, this is a good Arsenal shirt. Now, there's only one thing that can be done that's gonna make this shirt even better. And that's if I see names like Maratta written on the back, Higuain, There'd be enough space on there for a Bamiang, wouldn't there? <laughs> if you have a word with Arsene Wenger to sort that out, then this shirt will be absolutely perfect. So there it is. That's the Arsenal shirt 2016-17 by Puma. Out right now. And it's nice. I like it. I love it. It's good. If you was in charge, <laughs> Who would you get? I mean, I think we do need. I think you you have to admit we need, we could do with another striker there. Oh God, yeah, I mean, Who would we get? 